Greetings and salutations, everyone. So, today's been an awesome day. I was going to do some video recordings of a run today, but it, that didn't end up happening. Uh, GoPro decided to be a pain, but now I'm doing something else instead. So, I've come out here to the Terelgan Recovery and Relaxation Centre, and at this point, I'm less than a week out from my 50 kilometre run. So I thought I'd just do a little bit of a sit and chat and yeah, I think it's gonna be good. Uh, basically I've had a fairly good weekend, probably one of the best ones I've had in a long time. Spoiler alert, my dad and I have booked a cruise. So I'm gonna be looking forward to that. It's not until after my 100 mile run, so I'm going to save the cruise where it is and all that for after I've been on the cruise. <laughs> Unless a few people in person already know what it's at or where it's at. So, yeah, it was a good run. Uh, yesterday, park run, I placed first at Newborough Park Run. I did have a secret goal of wanting to do that and that happened. It was supposed to be a rest day, but it's park run day. I wanted to run. So yeah, uh, this is the first time using the DJI microphone, by the way. Uh, I've got a like, little meter on the screen that shows me how loud it's going, but I'm hoping this is working out all right. There's a bit of noise that's in here, but I think that is okay. I love this auto tracker. So yeah, place first at Park Run. Had a really awesome run, went back for Dad and yeah, it went really well. Got to chat to a few friends and catch up, which was amazing. And today, or oh, yesterday as well, uh, Chris Gallivan, congratulations, mate. He's run his fastest 5K since COVID and all the shit that he's been going through. He ended up getting like a 28 and a half minute park run. So that's really amazing and he's backed it up today with his longest run he's had in a long time. Like we just uh, met up at Food Co and just meandered around Terelgan a bit and he's like, if I do one more mile or yeah, about 1600 metres, he'll have the longest run he's ever done. So in a long time and he smashed it. So it's been just an awesome day. I've had some protein <laughs> now, so. I think it's really good. Um, yeah, I think today's a good day. Uh, after this, I'm gonna go to Missing Link and get some food. So it's probably gonna be a long video today. More sitting, chatting, eating, and talking stuff. Um, I've got the final week of my program now. So like I was saying, it's uh, 15, 16 weeks. So finish this one, let's just go to week 16. This week, obviously 50 kilometers at the end of the week. So I still haven't confirmed what I'm going to do for the run. Maybe some people can give me an idea if that's if this video goes out before then, but I'm gonna chat to some people and just see what happens. So. Um, might even screen record this little bit here. And as soon as it starts, yep, there it goes, it's recording. So Monday the 18th of March, strength training. Uh, it's got me doing, I'll try and look at it while looking over in your direction rather than away. So it's like two sets of heel walks, bear crawl, lunge, hold calf raise, glute bridge into hamstring walkout. Uh, then there's like calf raises and deadlifts, box jumps, goblet squats, standing side bends, isometric, isometric hamstring holds, banded dead bugs, hip thrusts, single arm cleans. Yeah, whole heap of stuff. So never, I'll have this screen up on the video when I've got it going. So it's like uh, 55 to 65 minutes. It's never that long. I always seem to go longer. But it, takes me forever to set up exercises sometimes. So let's go back. Tuesday, eight kilometer easy run mat. Don't go hard. 
So, eight kilometre easy, run a conversational pace, no faster than five ten per kilometre, which, that's amazing. Uh, let's just skip into it. Wednesday, taper intervals, nine Ks, uh, two and a half K warm up, no faster than five ten. Repeat the following two times, so a two kilometre interval at 440 pace, uh, 60 seconds recovering, 500 metres at 420, so then I'll repeat that twice, so that's two, four, five kilometres essentially, and then one and a half K cooldown, so that's pretty good. The scary part is <laughs> Saturday. Now, I was showing Chris Gallivan this when we were having uh, a drink this morning, and I'll try and zoom in on it on the video, but it didn't have a pace at first. I'm like, okay, it's just telling me to run 50K, so that's good. And then you read what Coach Ben says, and it says 16 hard weeks of training down. Time for that victory lap, Matthew. Time for you to show what you're capable of and to put all of that hard work to the test. With any ultra, the key to, is distance over time. You have a long way to go, so don't let yourself go too hard in the early stages. Don't be afraid to walk some of the steeper uphill sections and take care on the descents. I would aim to keep a pace of 520 to 540 per kilometer for the flatter, oh, for the flatter sections, okay. I just read 520 to 540 for the whole thing, so <laughs> that was interesting. And for that extra bit of race day motivation, be sure to check out our Spotify playlist. So let's stop that part there. So yeah, that's quite exciting. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I may measure out the distance so that I end up running 45 Ks before park run so I can finish 5 Ks at park run or maybe I can do 40 Ks and do 10 Ks at park run or I may do something completely different and run about 20 k's before park run and then a 5k at park run and then quickly scan in and out and then maybe I'll do an out and back somewhere on the rail trail but there's so many different ideas and yeah I think it's going to be a good run that's why I've come here I've got the Normatec boots on at the moment so I might just stop the, if I can get this off. I'm just gonna do this. Take it out of its tripod stand. And let's just turn this around. So this is the salt room. Here's me and my boots. It's quite nice. Normally it's a bit darker but I thought maybe just for that. We've got a little fireplace here, which is awesome. It's so nice to be recording on this. There's the machine for the boots and the salt machine. Just turn this back around to me and yeah I'm looking forward to all of this but for now I think I'm just gonna sit here and relax and enjoy the salt so yeah this is a salt room and it's like it is helping respiratory system and I don't want to be talking the whole time I want to enjoy this so I think nine and a bit minutes is quite good I can message a few people and go from there People are trying to get my attention today, so thank you. I actually kind of like this picture that's up there. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Actually, I can. Do I just tap? Push joystick to zoom in. Oh, wow. That's cool. So that looks nice. If we go over to the other picture. That is awesome. Wow. 
Wow. I haven't had much time to just sit and enjoy using this camera. How special is this? Maybe I should just record that for a little bit. Let's turn this around, so for now, everyone have an awesome time. I guess I'll see you at Missing Link for the next part of the video. Bye. I have just realized that I've been talking and not recording the video. The green bar is nearly going to that you wanted to do and I was wondering how this would sound if I am just whispering into the mic and then see what it's like when I'm talking normally so <laughs> I'm going to go have a massage and a feed it's been an amazing day I need to stop looking at the screen and look